today on Make Shake Create. Yeah. We're using the Form 1 Plus to make a battering. Hey guys, I'm Corey. This is Make Shape Create. We're doing 3D printing today. So anyone who saw our video from Louisville Mega Fair, um, beginning of October, you guys saw that we won this Form 1 Plus 3D printer from the guys that I like to make stuff. Uh, we'll put a link to the video here. Um, it's the first time I've 3D printed anything. First project we're using this on. First time I've ever made a 3D model. So expect things to go wrong, but here we go. All right, so here's the model I'm working with. I made this in Shaper 3D. Um, I will put a link to it um, in the description. It's only an app for the iPad, um, but uh, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to combine the each side of these. And uh, so I figured I'd just do it as uh, four pieces and then we can combine them together when they're done. So we did that. So the print's done, um, but as you can tell right here, um, these two halves right here didn't print all the way. So we're gonna have to rerun them, but it looks like the other ones are good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this off the bed, go rinse it off, and uh, yeah, here we go. So all we gotta do is we just gotta take this spatula, and just take it off the bed. Now I got a little bit of alcohol. And this, just use regular rubbing alcohol to clean them off. Once you get it off the bed, and then we'll start. Yep, see, right like that. And that'll clean off with alcohol. This will clean off with alcohol. All you gotta do is break off these supports. Now these are designed to come off really easily. As you can see, I'm not using any tools or anything. They usually, they literally just snap right off. Of course, I've never done one this tight before, so this is a little harder than the little prototypes I did before were, but that's okay. There we go. So, yep, yeah, it comes off right like that. So there we go. We got that one. We'll drop that now, call. And there's gonna be some little supports that I hadn't gotten yet. And we'll get them as we're rinsing it. I'm not super worried about getting them all off right now. There we go, we can throw all this away. this off in this alcohol real good. We're gonna do it for about 30 seconds. Just trying to rub it and get off any of these little extra supports and stuff like that. The alcohol makes that a little easier. Actually, I'm probably use the scraper right here. Get some, help get some of them off. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it, but that's the way I've been doing it. Get off now, the less we gotta do later. 
So we reconfigured the model, got it uploaded, print started, everything. And we did this like two or three times and it would start out good and then for whatever reason it just wouldn't print. So we'd do it again. And then we'd do it again. And then we'd do it again. So, had a couple of uh, prints not print. <laughs> I'm not sure why, and I don't really have time before this video needs to come out to figure it out. So, I'm just going to use the one that failed to print earlier. Um, we just put it together, obviously, to reconstruct this part right here using um, super glue and B pen. But first, we need to get the print, um, the support structure of divots and stuff like that off these, and uh, get these sample smooth, and then we'll uh, worry about sculpting that. So, here we go. halves together. I'm going to put one of each of the bad sides next to a good side so I have reference on how far I need to build up the opposing side. Um, but before we start building it up, we need to do these four pieces together. We're going to do that now. prime it on um, both sides let that dry and see once we get all one color then we can sand it some more if we need to or just go ahead with the uh, next coat of paint so here we go primer's dry um i don't know if this show how well it's gonna show up on camera but you can see that there are still a little couple of high spots and some of the scratches from when I was sanding. I'm gonna try to get them out. Um, I'm gonna switch to 120 grit. I was using um, 80, 
So uh, hopefully that'll help make it a cleaner finish. side and then paint it so wait for this to dry now all right so maybe i'm understanding this wrong but i'm pretty sure that says right there primers may be top coated immediately for even glossier finish top coat with rust-oleum blah 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 crystal clear within an hour okay that doesn't look like you can top coat it immediately. So that's not the way it's supposed to look. Divide your folium. Divide. Alright, so far so good. Um, I did two coats of the metallic blue on each side. And now on this side, I'm in the middle of the clear coat. I'm using um, this... Uh, engine enamel clear coat um i thought maybe it'd make it a little more durable um i gotta put on the final heavy coat it said to put on uh two light ones and then a heavy one and so uh we're getting ready to do that all right so far so good second side hopefully this one works as well as the first side did so you just open all right, so I had to, I showed you guys just last night, the paint wasn't setting right. Waited till late an hour and then painted it again, and the paint totally screwed up. I thought it was dry, it wasn't dry, totally jacked up. I have since today re-sanded the whole thing, um, put it on these paint triangles, and just now put a new coat on it. Um, it's gonna probably take a couple, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna give this plenty of time to dry and then go from there. So, ugh, maybe this is the last time. Side two, so far so good. happy with how this turned out the paint's not 100% perfect because I did screw it up but I'm happy with it feels good good size um, I might take another go at this down the road but yeah it was fun so uh if you have any suggestions on what we can use this to make next or comments about this video or this project or anything you'd like to make if you had this leave them down below uh, find us on the social medias at Make Shape Create. Um, you can support us on Patreon to help us continue making videos like this. 
Patreon backslash Make Shape Create. And we will see you guys next week. Bye.